there friends. I hope you are having a fantastic weekend. I just wanted to let you know that I have come to a decision that I need to do a thing. Um, this whole quarantine, while I'm pretty much eating the way I always ate, it's, I feel like it's throwing me for a bit of a loop. Um, I'm not even, I was snacky in the beginning, but now I'm just kind of like, you know, I just, I'm regular, but yet I feel like my body is just not responding well to food the way I know it can. Um, so I've been thinking about that a lot and getting a little frustrated and then decided it's time to stop being frustrated and just figure it out. And when I thought about it, it's like, I'm not exercising like I should. Um, I go in spurts where I'll do real well for a day or two and then I'm letting life happen. Um, it's that just allowing the children and the needs to get in the way of doing what I know I should be doing every day. Before lockdown, because my kids go to a dance studio four nights a week, I took that time while they were there to go exercise almost every time. So I was seriously exercising for an hour, three to four nights a week. And I think the fact that I've stopped that, my body is not happy with that. Combine that with the fact that I think whenever before I was able that I, being exercising and then eating the way I'm supposed to most of the time, I was doing good. But now those kind of like occasional pizza night with the family, mm -hmm. drinks a night or two a week with the husband, um, I think that's adding up. And I think it's really just causing me to feel like my pants are too tight and I am not enjoying that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something that is known in the trim healthy world as a fuel cycle. This is not something for those of you that are just starting to learn how to eat this way. Okay. I am putting out the information for a someday. All right. Someday you can come back and look at this. You can check out the meals that I made because I believe 100% in food freedom. And when you decide to do what's called a fuel cycle, you get very restrictive on what you allow yourself to eat. And so normally, you know, a low carb sandwich wrap, totally fine. Normally dairy several times a day, not a problem. I'm feeling like I need a reset. I, I, I need the control alt delete on my diet. So that way I can come out on the other side with a revved up metabolism. So if you are just starting to eat this way, you are not allowed to do what I'm about to do. Okay. You're just allowed to look at the meals because they're still perfectly fine meals. A lot of them are what I eat normally. It's how you're eating. So rather than switching up your fuels between fats and carbs every three to four hours, I will stay in one fuel for two days. So for the S meal, that fats meal, I am not having any nuts. I am not having any dairy. I will be focusing on pure fats that are coming from pure, good quality oil sources and good meats. Then you go into a couple days of e-meals, those carb meals, the good carbs. Um, and again, I'm choosing to go as d pretty much dairy free on this. Normally I don't have a problem with dairy, but I feel like I've abused it. I feel like the cheese has crept into my life in such a way that it's not really a healthy thing for me. So, and then you go into a day where you're pulling out the fats and the carbs and you pretty much just have protein centered meals. And then you repeat. So you do this for two weeks. So I decided not to reinvent the wheel because I don't have time for that. So if you go to the wellplannedkitchen.com, she actually has a fuel cycle menu and I will put a link to that and for you to look at. Um, again, you're not allowed to do this unless you have been following the Trim Healthy Mama way of eating for months or years, okay? If it's been weeks, this is off limits. This is higher learning 
then you know you're if you're in elementary school you're not going to do graduate level school work but from all the experience that i've had over the past seven years i know that this can be a jump start to getting things back to the way they're supposed to be and um kind of smacking my body around and it just kind of gets you back to maybe not taking all the shortcuts that you might otherwise be willing to make so i am going to be posting all my meals okay one clarification i i did kind of start off maybe not quite right but the day before you start one of these you're supposed to have a good e-meal um one of the meals with carbs but i was out and about yesterday and i pretty much ate all s so i started my first s day with an e-meal with some oatmeal because i'm going to be not having carbs for two days and i wanted to make sure it got a little bit of carbs before i went into that mode and i forgot to take a picture of my oatmeal but i'll put a link to how i make my oatmeal and um you know i just had a fantastic salad for lunch a bacon and egg salad drizzled with some mct oil and a little bit of red wine vinaigrette seasoned up it was fantastic my husband chose to have one too and believe me he does not need to be doing this fuel cycle thing lucky him um and then we followed it up with a delicious chocolate milk so we're still not depriving ourselves we're still having fantastic wonderful things but i'm eating it in such a way that it's getting things back to the way they're supposed to be so just want you to come along check out what i'm doing and um i'll probably maybe create a unit out of this that's called fuel cycle so that way you know where to come back and look for it sometime in the future if you need it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.